are you suffering from premenstrual syndrome do you have irregular periods are your periods unbearably painful should you work out during a period how to beat the emotional turmoil physical weakness and balance the hormones during that time of the month that's what this video is all about in this video i will comprehensively discuss with you the major problems faced by women in menstrual cycle and the proper steps to fix them so keep watching this video as by the end of this video you will be able to put a period to your period problems stay tuned Hello friends welcome to Fit Tuber as the girls get older certain hormonal changes takes place in their bodies and they get a period just to give you a brief uterus is the part inside a woman's body where the baby grows the inner lining of the uterus supports and nourishes the developing baby if there is no baby the lining is shed during her periods through the vagina menstrual cycle is the time between one period to another period usually about 28 days Day 1 of the menstrual cycle is the first day of the period when the uterus starts to shed its lining. As the period ends, the uterus prepares again to receive a fertilized egg. For that, around day 10 there is a huge surge of the hormone estrogen in the blood stream which helps in the formation of egg. In the middle of menstrual cycle on day 14, one of the ovaries releases an egg which through the fallopian tubes reaches the uterus. It takes about 5 to 6 days. Meanwhile, the lining of the uterus gets thicker in preparation to receive the egg. This leads to significant decrease in estrogen levels. These 7 days before the period is the premenstrual period where some women feel face a lot of emotional and physical problems due to the interplay of hormones now if the woman does not get pregnant the egg begins to disintegrate and the lining of the uterus is not needed that's when it sheds out and a woman has her period the next cycle begins estrogen surges again now we know that the ideal cycle is of 28 days a couple of days more or less is acceptable although if your menstrual cycle is erratic as in you don't get periods for months or you get them twice a month then there is something wrong and a lot of external factors may be causing so for example too much stress you may be on fat diets excessive eating of junk foods high usage of plastic dependency on medication out of sync with moon formation of cysts in the ovaries etc but before we discuss the solution of irregular periods let's go a week back when some women face premenstrual syndrome You probably get some signs that your period is coming, isn't it? For most women it's no big deal, but for others the days before the period are harder. If it's so bad that it messes up with your daily life, then you might have PMS. Now we know that PMS is the result of sudden decrease in the estrogen level. So you just need to balance your hormones. First of all, no medication please. It might give you a short term benefit but in the long run worsens the condition. Next time when you know that it's that time of the month, be proactive. Stop that junk food outside. Sleep proper, work out regularly, meditate or do a bit of pranayam. That's all your body needs to balance the hormones. Coming back to irregular periods, the solution is very simple yet extremely effective. You need to do two things. Firstly, take 1 teaspoon of radish seeds. half teaspoon of black sesame seeds and half teaspoon of bathua seeds crush them mildly and put them in a pan with one and a half glass of water on low flame let them boil until one third of water remains now strain the seeds out let the water cool down to lukewarm and have it slowly drink it every morning 30 minutes before having breakfast Secondly take half teaspoon of amal ki rasayan in hot or normal water if you get no periods or excessive periods respectively these have no side effects and you can take them as long as the problem persists along with it maintaining a nutritious diet and regular workout will greatly help now painful periods and menstrual cramps are another very common problem faced by women a lot of surveys have been done on this and the observations are shocking If painful periods are the case with you as well then you must know that painkillers are not the solution. During periods uterus contract so that it is able to push out impure blood. In contraction various muscles of the body are involved. If you experience unbearable pain then it is a sign of weakness 
a sign of iron deficiency in the body. In accordance with Ayurveda, pain and menstrual cramps are a sign of high vat dosha in the body. That implies that your body is dry within and needs lubrication. This dryness could be due to the regular intake of green tea, tea or coffee, too many dry fruits or excessive indulgence in packaged and junk foods. So now you know what to avoid. Then it's extremely important to lubricate the system from within. How do you do that? It's simple. Every day, oil your navel and nostrils after bathing. I have already talked about oil pulling with you. It's another great technique. Massage the body two to three times a week using sesame oil, especially the lower abdominal part. On other days, head massage at night and sleep. Consume buttermilk post lunch. If the problem still persists, start taking two teaspoons of desi cow ghee mixed in warm water early morning. The pain will vanish. Another frequently asked question is that, should I work out during my period? The answer to this is a straightforward yes. Really, periods are that time of the month when your estrogen levels are naturally down. You are feeling low, the brain isn't producing the feel-good hormones either. So the best way to get a natural boost of dopamine is to work out. Moreover, it will increase the blood circulation, helping in easy passage of the blood out. Although workout does not mean that you go for hardcore weight training. However, you can do that as well if your body allows. Otherwise, even walking for just 20 minutes will greatly help. Then you should do some breathing exercises, some yoga postures, some stretching, etc. Basically, a good workout will pull out your body from fatigue, calm your mind so that you can have an easy period. Last but should be first, I want you to connect with nature. And when it comes to women, it's extremely important that your body is in synchronization with the moon. Believe it or not, but the 28-day moon cycle and your 28-day menstrual cycle is not merely a coincidence. You can even check if your body is in sync with moon. Ideally, a period should fall on a new moon night. If that's not happening, then surely your body's internal clock is disturbed. Just how excessive blue light during the night disturbs the sleep clock. So ditch the blue light of your phones and switch to moonlight for your hormones. Just 10 minutes a night. You can even have moonlight charged water. Don't ignore it. Traditionally, the herbs were charged in the moonlight to increase their effectiveness. The moon is significant. It's because of the moon that you find fruits and vegetables juicy. Moon alone has the power to fix all your hormonal issues. All the anxiety, emotional turmoil, mood swings, moon is the ultimate solution for you. Try it out for yourself. Having said all this, I know it's easy to speak and tough to go through the pain of period every month. Perhaps this is the reason that emotionally nature has made women much more stronger than men. As a man, I want other men out there to please be sensitive and open about the problems of the women that around you face during their periods. It's our responsibility to make them comfortable so that they can freely talk about any such problem. It's 2019, let's break the taboo. And to the ladies, please follow the tips mentioned in this video. You will be amazed to reap the benefits. I want to thank Oziva for partnering with us for this video. Have you got hold of Oziva's protein and herbs made separately for men and women? Yes, these are two unique whey proteins with added herbs. One scoop of the men version will give you 23 grams of protein, 5.5 grams of BCAA, multivitamins and herbs like ashwagandha and moringa for better stamina and recovery. While a scoop of women version will give you 23 grams of protein, 5.5 grams of BCAA, multivitamins and herbs like shatavari and tulsi for better hormonal balance. Not only this, Oziva protein and herbs is sweetened naturally with stevia and has no artificial sweeteners, preservatives or soy. These are truly one of its kind products in the Indian market. I highly recommend them to you. To buy them, click on the link down in the description box. Do not forget to apply the special discount coupon to get 150 rupees off on your order. So friends, that's all for this video. Did you find it to be helpful? If yes, then please show me your support by giving this video a big thumbs up. Would you like me to talk more about women's specific issues? Comment your ideas below. You can now support my work on Patreon. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. You can also follow me on Instagram. My name is Vivek. I thank you so much for watching.